The speed at which insurgents are moving has taken the country by surprise. Fighting on the ground has intensified as the Islamist group ISIS, an offshoot of al-Qaeda, moves to take over Iraq one city at a time. A propaganda video released by ISIS sets out their planned takeover. ISIS forces seized Iraq's second city, Mosul, on Tuesday. Around half a million people have since fled the area. The next day, insurgents took over former Iraq leader Saddam Hussein's hometown of Tikrit. They then made their way to Samarra, but were stalled by government forces. They're now believed to be pushing further south in an attempt to capture the Iraqi capital, Baghdad. Insurgents now control large parts of eastern Syria and western Iraq and are intent on taking over the country and turning it into an Islamic state. Despite his power and a $10 million reward on his head, little is known about their leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who's remained hidden for his own protection. Iraq's government says they will stand firm against any threat. We are confident really that uh, the Iraqi forces and the Iraqi political leaders will come together to defeat Al-Qaeda and prevent them from establishing their own Islamic State. Unlike in 2003, instead of military aid, the West is, for now, only sending humanitarian aid. I don't think that the right answer here is a Western intervention in Iraq. The right answer is for Iraq's leaders to, as I say, to find the necessary unity and consensus to deal with this and to provide an effective security response as well as an effective political response. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis have fled to Kurdish-controlled areas in fear for their lives and their children's. For a people who were once promised stability, an uncertain future looms again. Alexandra Hill, 5 News.